Hello guys, today is a very special day and it's helped by the fact that it's, no, please excuse the cockerel outside, he's very loud at the moment probably because he's confused with all of the snow is coming from. So, this is the first like actual video on the second channel um, A few days ago I hit 80 subscribers, so massive thank you for that This is my computer and my computer isn't that very good. It's a Ryzen 3 uh, 2200G and it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM and a RX 570 or 560 or whatever. By the way, it's only 4 gigabytes, it's not very good. So inside of this one I have uh, a 120 gigabyte uh, SSD from 2015 and I recently upgraded this CPU cooler, and yes, there's no acrylic uh, side panel. I broke that. <laughs> Here's the GPU, it's uh, ROG1. So, I've only got one hard drive left in here, and that's, that's my games drive. I'm ready to take this thing down, because in about an hour... Sorry, let me just get that here first. So, in about an hour, uh, I'm getting my new system from PC Specialist and I am really looking forward to it. When it gets here I will tell you the specs. So so it's finally here after about 50 days of waiting uh, because of the current pandemic and all of the issues with the borders being shut uh, and the factories being shut uh, there's been a supply shortage of PC parts and that's and it's not just PC parts, there's also Xbox uh, One X Series X or whatever they're called, and the PS5. Um, this thing, it's absolutely huge. Um, I mean, if, if I put my hand down here, as you can see, um, it's very big. And it's also wet as well because it's been out in the rain for like a minute uh, while I negotiated it with the DPD. Uh, right, <laughs> let's get this thing open. <laughs> hope that it survived shipping. This thing's huge, I can fit myself in it if, if I try. Look at this thing, it's huge. So I've got all of this documentation here. I think that because this is a workstation and not a gaming PC, yeah, as PC specialists like to call it, um, I don't get a free copy of Far Cry 6, so I'm going to have to buy that myself. It's very nice. Thick packaging, not the thickest, but let's see if it survived anyway. Right, I'm just gonna put this back onto the. Well, actually, we've got this thing here. What's this? Oh, wow. Priority. I hope that I was a priority customer. Welcome pack. Right, what's inside of here? Okay, just accessories. Right, we've got mounting kit. This, um, this I assume is for the Intel version of the uh, H100X water cooler, which if you are in here, yeah, I went water cooling. These are just the power supply cables. Um, the kettle lead with the British superior, British uh, plug. Just a box of screws, more cables, lots of spares. I hope they've gone with custom cables, that would be amazing. SATA for the hard drives, I'm definitely going to need that. Um, Molex, zip ties, or as the Vertex call them, the tweezers. What have we got in here? We've got a PWM to Molex. Weird. Uh, SATA cables, perfect. I mean, I've got loads of them in there, but still. More tweezers. <laughs> tweezers. Zip ties. I am being Stefan from the road right now, and um, we got an RGB to PWM. No, that 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 is just RGB to RGB. Um, this one looks like it's been broken in half. What is it? No, no, no clue. What's this? Again, it's most likely from the CPU cooler. Lots of accessories there, which I'm never going to need. I'm going to need the SATA cable, however, because my hard drives. This system only has a 500 gigabyte uh, Samsung 970 Evo Plus. 
all of the manuals, stickers, hell yeah. Okay, right, I can customise my rig now, finally. That's what we're on about. Perfect. Welcome book. Never gonna read that, because I know how to work computers, I think. I mean, it's not like I do it for a, a job. Okay, cool, that's that out of the way. Let's just, uh, hopefully I haven't zoomed in or anything. Uh, there we go, cool. Let's get this out of the way. This is just the, the warning about removing this big, yummy bit of foam in the middle here, the, the, the instant pack. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it out of the case and I'm going to oogle in the glory that is the 750D. I'm just thinking how the hell am I going to do this? And in three, two, one. This is cool. This thing is huge. My goodness, look at the size of this. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this on for the time being. Ugh. Because acrylic, it scratches really easily, which is super annoying. But look at this system. Oh my God, this is a... Gorgeous graphics card. I was hoping for the reference, but this is even better. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. that. That is amazing. So this is a Merc GPU. I did really want the the um, stock one. I did email PC specialist asking, hey, is this going to be the reference cooler? If so, that would be fantastic. They said, yeah, it is going to be the um, reference cooler. But obviously it's not, it's this one, but these light up and I wanted some form of like LED on here so I'm thrilled to bits about this. This is gonna look dope. So a bit more about this system. It's got 32 gigabytes of RAM inside of it, only two DIMMs because I want to upgrade to 64 later on. I've got a uh, H100X CPU cooler in here, it's water cooling, got the radiator up there as you can see, and got two fans. So in total in the system I've got one, two, three, I think I've got five. You can take this thing off by pulling that off here. So, so I've got even more fans here. So one, two, three, four, five. Five fans in the system. And then of course if you count these three fans, because there's three fans on here. Three bloody fans. This, 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 this thing's massive. <laughs> this is the largest graphics card I've owned ever. So I guess you could say uh, you've got the five, six, seven, eight, nine, because there's one in the power supply as well, isn't there? This is the first truly overkill system that I've ever had. Um, what else? So this is the 5900X inside of here. It's a Ryzen 9. It's the second from top. So it's very, very high end. I love this GPU. I was worried that I might not get the reference cooler because I love the reference cooler, but I think I think I think I fall in love with this one. So for IO, we've got all of this, we've got the fast flashback button, we've got a Type-C, an HDMI port which has been covered there, oh I see, oh uh, yeah, because they don't want you using the integrated inside of the external GPU, then we've got our GP back here, got another Type-C over there, loads of IO, perfect, it says Windows on there, it shouldn't say Windows on there, I hope they haven't installed Windows, because I have made a USB for no reason then, got um, Ethernet 2.5 gigabit per second, super speedy. Come on, focus. Uh, and then we've got our audio out. I'm only going to be using the line out because, come on, who who needs anything else in line out? I'm probably wrong, but in terms of cable management, the cable management is spot on, and it really does not want to focus. There we go. It it looks just fantastic. Um, PC specialists have done a cracking job with this system. So I have to give credit where credit is due for, for this case. The cable management on here is spectacular. I've never seen anything like it. Um, everything's very neat and organized. Uh, I could have used a zip tie here, but that doesn't matter. 
Very, very neat. Very, very good. Look at that. That that is one of the finest cable management jobs I have ever seen. Got to install three hard drives. No, four hard drives in here. So that's so that's going to be very, very fun. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, install my hard drives and I'm going to boot this thing up. It's time to shut the system down. I think for the last time, get this new one installed. Right. So it's been about um, half an hour. I've installed all of, them, all of my drives. Here we go. And what I'm gonna do is, I don't wanna keep this one, I just need to transfer some files off of it. So I'm gonna keep the side panel off for the first boot. And then afterwards, once I've transferred everything over to the, the um, new drives, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cable manage everything. And I'm gonna seal everything back up. I've already taken a few pictures of it for Instagram. Uh, I had to take the uh, GPU out, where it is. I'll probably put that thing back in soon. It's huge and, 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 and it's really, really heavy. Look at that snow outside, it's gorgeous. There's one patch of grass out there which hasn't got any snow in it. Mm, so this is gonna be the first turning on. Oh. Okay. There we go. <laughs> right, the first turning on, the system. Oh, got some red lights there, but hopefully everything's fine. Okay, so it's taken me a while, but I've got all of my software installed on here now. I just need to get Unreal Engine installed on here. I've got all of my games from my games drive. They've all appeared on the relevant platforms. So now there's one thing that I haven't done, and that is removing the peel. Damn, this thing looks great. Okay, let's go. There we go, look at this system. I'm just gonna change the color of that. I've got Armory Crate on here at the moment, so hopefully that works. Still can't focus in on that. I don't know why. You just won't focus. Doesn't that look great? Radeon. RX 6800 XT XFX, I've fallen in love with this cooler. It looks awesome.